What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to Throwing the Towel Podcast. I'm your host, Chuck Payne. I got my co-host with me, yes, Jackson. Sir, Jackson. You know, this is another episode of Throwing the Towel Podcast. Um, yeah, so today we're just gonna be talking about some relevant topics with sports, music, whatever it is. We got D Green coming later, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, heavy on the hopefully, heavy on the hopefully. <laughs> we press on time. <laughs> we, yeah, we press on time, but but we, we still gonna go. We we gonna rock it. So, um, let's just get into it. You know. Oh, by the, before we start, please if you have not followed or liked or whatever, just subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Go follow us on Twitter, T I T T P two one four. Go follow us on Instagram, throwing the towel two one four. And you'll be good. You'll get all the topics, all the updates, you know. Send some suggestions, send some criticism. Send some suggestions, criticism, whatever. All of that stuff. All Feedback, of positive, good. He going to read the criticism. I'm not going to read them. <laughs> I read the criticism. I love so. some negativity. <laughs> send that shit my, my way. <laughs> we going to clap back. No, back. <laughs> I'll definitely clap back. <laughs> you can send, just you send your criticism. Yeah, just understand back. I'm going to criticize your ass back. So we all for that shit. I, I love like the good, way you type that. I love, I love a good argument. <laughs> nah, for real. And I'm going to read that shit in your tone. I'll take that shit personal. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's, let's start with... Um, I kind of wanted to wait to Green get up with this hobby, but we'll start. Uh, just gotta know this nigga. He's a mask. What what they call him? Mister Delusional. Mister Delusional. <laughs> him and Stu, Mister Delusional. <laughs> so I like I like hearing their delusional takes oh, about man. sports. But um, I can we, tell you what he gonna say. What's the we, topic? We talking about preseason. Who preseason. had the, who had the best preseason? Um, yeah, Packers I, fan. Yeah, Packers fan. I don't know why. Yeah, that's wild. Lil Wayne, that green and yellow song. Yeah, you're right. I, I was going to say, fans, like, man. I feel like when he was young, like. <laughs> Somebody told him the Packers was the cold. Packers was cold. And then they were like, they got your last name on the house. He's like, oh, shit, that's my team. <laughs> the colors. That's crazy. Green Bay. <laughs> that's crazy. I believe that because that's why I'm a Kenny Pickett fan. Nah, it's a same, and Kenny Pickett got the same last name. That nigga is my that's favorite that cousin. That's my cousin. Uh, so shout out to Kenny Pickett. The but, little um, ass hands. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've been baby. <laughs> How's he going to be able to grip the ball? Bro, that's <laughs> fucked up. That's fucked up. You go all your life playing football just for niggas to question your hands. Bro, you know what's crazy? Wow. Like, when we when you, when I be watching, like, sports shit and, yeah. and niggas be like, his stamina or his conditioning is not good and just be some fat ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a nigga that ain't never ran a day nigga, in his life. Like, Talk about a nigga. This is wild. What world do we live in? That's wild. We live in a fucked up world. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at the house like shit. I could do that. Nah, fact, <laughs> I'll be doing that shit. Away. Ain't played football since high school. <laughs> nah, for real. Hit the string, talk about. It. I could do that. I could catch that. <laughs> but like, yeah, let's let's start with uh pre the preseason games. Um, yeah. I don't know if you watched any. Or, I watched them. I caught okay. a lot of them. Uh, who? I know you mentioned some names, but who? Like, I guess what? Te- let's start with the team. What teams really stood out to you the most? It's a, again. It's, we know it's preseason, whatever, yeah. but. Shit, niggas was niggas was been striving for football. So niggas, we just something, just something. Some, 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 Shout out to WNBA. We was watching. I've been watching WNBA. <laughs> bro, I'm dead ass serious. This nigga is capping. I swear to God. I swear to God. I'm with this nigga 24 7. He don't be watching. Bro, bro this, this nigga. What's that one girl that uh, play, play for the. Uh, what's your call? I got him. <laughs> Shout out to WNBA. Nah, I thought. um I ain't gonna lie, I'm not even a Steelers fan, but I watched uh I watched Kenny Pickett play, bro. He he looked good to yeah. me. Like, I'm not gonna lie, really you're good. right. The Steelers look really good. The Steelers look really Offense good. Offense and defense. And I um I saw this uh Deshaun Watson make a couple good Deshaun throws Watson, on the ground. He, he looked pretty, yeah. he looked sharp. Like he, he didn't look like decent. he ain't played football yeah. in a minute. Deshaun Watson looked really good and yeah. the Cowboys defense looked good. Cowboys I feel my like offense was in fucking shambles. <laughs> Except for Deuce Vaughn. Deuce Vaughn. I, I, my nigga Deuce Vaughn. Deuce Vaughn, yeah. He, he my height. Yeah, Shout out to Lil Niggas. He's shorter than me, actually. Yeah. Shout out to Lil Niggas. He's like 5'3". <laughs> it's fucked up. Bro, I would be like, damn, this nigga's small, bro. This nigga just... <laughs> <laughs> you know you small when I can say you small. Nigga, <laughs> Shit, I'm small. <laughs> that nigga's shorter than me. He bro, give me hope. Bro, it's like trying to... Catch your taller nigga. <laughs> he run like a badass kid. <laughs> like that nigga finna get a whooping. Oh, nah, for real. But, but I, um, I, I like the Steelers. Not Steelers. 
I'm more so I don't know I'm more so was looking at like individual players I guess yeah. you can say rather than what players team. stood out to you the most like Kenny Pickett Kenny Pickett Deuce Vaughn Deuce Vaughn um that's all I can really think of honestly yeah. to me see, see for me like I'm not gonna lie like it's a, it's a couple of players especially like you know of course Jalen Carter the the nigga that the Eagles drafted yeah yeah, yeah. Fell, From Georgia. Like, yeah, he. That I was mean, a steal. That was a steal, bro. He, steal. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga probably should went number one, bro. Yeah, but except like, for that, he got into that little yeah, situation. Yeah, so I don't give a fuck. I'm still nigga. What? Nigga, I'm still, I'm what what, what that are character that issues? Are. Niggas be talking about you got character. It's issues. like, bro, like niggas act like you never made a mistake. If before. you call, and, and you like, call. I, I'm like, I'm not a rest in peace to like. Yeah, the, the all gentleman. The, all the died. people that was it, gentleman. Or, it was a. Uh, I think it was a guy. Okay, yeah, so I, I'm team not team. I'm not trying to be insincere that situation. No, of course not. I'm just saying as a from football standpoint, you yeah. know, like he can play football. He can play football. And I think a lot of know. times, like, and not even to make it a race thing, I mm-hmm. just think a lot of time when it comes to minorities, like we get held to like different standards that some people don't like. Ben Roethlisberger getting accused of raping people and shit. Yeah, and it's like we don't talk about a lot of that stuff. But yeah. it's like you know, God forbid, you a young dude that. You know, you end up in a situation right. like that. Now that's your worst. Like they use that worst moment, and then they amplify it, and right. then they use it to try to diminish you. Yeah. So now we don't got to pay you first pick money. Now we can pay you second rounder money. Yeah. You know what exactly. I'm saying? And, that's and the only thing. That's I what I'm like. saying. Because they know, like, I mean, bro, like niggas is gonna like. I remember a couple of years ago with Lar- Laramie Tunsil that off yeah. the tackle, the one that got caught with the weed mask and everything. Like, <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> I'm like, bro. Niggas is doing cocaine in the NFL, but see, bro. They used like, to smoke cigarettes things, and drink beer. But you're right, though, <laughs> nigga, what? Lawrence Taylor said they don't- They ain't do that no Lawrence more. Lawrence Taylor said they don't drink beers and smoke cigarettes anymore <laughs> at halftime. But see, that's the thing. Like, okay, I'll be honest, though. Like, nigga, it's a, one thing to get caught with a blunt. Yeah. Nigga, you got a whole mask. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, have you ever tried to play football while high? So if a nigga can play football by That's high, true. he got it, bro. Because That's true. it's tough to do that. And bro, shit like niggas is acting like, come on, bro. Like they acting like weed is like some fucking. Right, they doing it. Shit. They like, doing that like, shit. Yeah, everywhere. everyone doing that shit. Like, niggas is doing steroids, putting nah, steroids real, in their ass, real, injecting like, themselves in the ass with steroids. <laughs> you penalize me for smoking weed, man. You got me <laughs> fucked up. I'm using horse tranquilizers, bro. Yeah, niggas be using the horse tranquilizers. The reindeer, and shit too. It's the reindeer. I think, like, whatever <laughs> That's the, wild. Whatever that shit Ray Lewis said. That's bro. wild. <laughs> I'm like, bro, like niggas, niggas, niggas doing all that shit. Niggas can't smoke a little weed, bro. Are they serious? <laughs> niggas is injecting themselves with reindeer like, tranquilizers. Bro, That's on. wild. You That's got crazy. it. You got it. At that point, I don't want no parts in this shit. You got it. You got it. But yeah, um, but yeah, like, like I like Jalen Carter. He's he's been doing pretty good. I like, um, I don't know. This, like you said, the Steelers stand out to me a lot. The yeah. nigga, you know, what's funny, like. I know. See, if some of the people who actually been paying attention, yeah, my three fans out there, y'all know, <laughs> right? Y'all know. Back when I said, okay, I made a prediction in, for the f- drafts and whatnot. Yeah. So like, I had the top five sleeper picks. Yeah. A nigga named Nick. Well, it's not a nigga, but a white dude <laughs> named Nick Herbig. That name uh, sound familiar. Yes, yeah. he went to Wisconsin, bro. Okay. That nigga is. That nigga is the truth, bro. Yeah. And he he on the Steelers. He he like. I was like, he like a uh, edge yeah, linebacker, edge rusher. edge rusher. I'm like, I'm like, nigga, I saw him. Say, I was like, is that, is that TJ Watt? Nah, like, no, it. nigga, Nick Irby. TJ Watt looked good as usual. Yeah, TJ Watt looked, looked dominant. Like so it's like, I'm just, I'm just happy that some of the niggas I picked. Uh, another nigga, Trey Palmer for the Buccaneers receiver. I saw him. Yeah, he's doing really good him. too. Like, um, someone else. I don't pay attention to a lot of these preseason niggas because I don't know their names. Yeah. But, but one thing I do like about it, though, is like like you said, you got the sleepers and shit. Like, niggas got an opportunity to, to like, change their life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they be yeah. having an opportunity to take their life to the next level. So, I like preseason. I like watching it because I like, um, I like the hunger. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I feel like in the NFL or, like, Regular season and shit like that. A lot of time niggas be divas and they don't be nah, playing their hardest. Facts. But I feel like them preseason niggas. But they boy, be they trying, trying to make the team. Man. They be trying they, to make what? the team. They, <laughs> like, I'm telling you, I love seeing. They're trying it. to make the team, bro. Like, That's niggas. why I started to like college sports more yeah. because I see the passion that niggas yeah, yeah. play with. Like it's different. Yeah. To be fair though, like 
a lot of niggas, especially during the season, bro, niggas be banged up. It's tough, like, bro. It's like who, who? What? Week fifteen come around, nigga, you dealing with a sore ankle and knee. You and been then dealing Derek, with it for Darren Heron come at you full speed. What nigga? <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> nigga, fuck no. I'm I'm gonna, lose I'm my pants. Lay tackle, nigga. Yeah. Bro, I lose. I get the fuck out. There. I'm not tackling that nigga. I'm gonna get the like, fuck bro, out. Like, bro. Sometimes, way. yeah. So, but yeah, like it be they be more passionate like in the preseason games. That's why That's I, I do like watching. That's uh, a fact. Um. It, but um, I'm I think sorry. the Chiefs look. The Chiefs had some good uh, skills. Chiefs. They had a couple good receivers. Another nigga, Rasheed Rice, nigga out of SMU. It's Ray Rice, brother. No, <laughs> <laughs> nigga said Ray Rice. Shout out the little. Nigga. What about Jerry Rice? Why couldn't we be Jerry Rice, brother? <laughs> you had to go right. to Ray Rice, <laughs> Mister Domestic Violence. Bro, we do, <laughs> we do not condone that in no way, shape. We don't condone domestic, domestic violence. That's just Mr. Domestic Bro, violence. change, change <laughs> the subject, please. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. crazy. But um, no, we don't condone that. Greg Hardy got a second chance after his Bro, f- bro. Greg Hardy doing MMA now. <laughs> is, he, is he doing MMA? I thought he was working at Walmart or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there a video of him like, now nah, y'all niggas, see y'all niggas happy. Y'all work me. I'm working at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Walmart. <laughs> Shout out, Shout out Walmart. Walmart. Man, if you six foot five, two hundred and sixty pounds working at Walmart, <laughs> hey, nigga, give up in life. Respectfully. Hey, <laughs> respectfully. That ain't it. Go go <laughs> nigga, go to the gym <laughs> and you find <laughs> you, nigga, what? you find you one these semi pro leagues <laughs> and put yourself to use. No, nigga. He needs, he needs to stay away from violent content sports. Bro, he working at Walmart, mean, bro. Just, <laughs> what's gonna happen when you get overwhelmed to get mad at a customer? <laughs> bro, they go fire his ass. Walmart don't even care, nigga. Nick, niggas be having full fist fights in the, in the break room. <laughs> They're like, get back to work. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> bro, I tell you about when I used to work at Walmart, I used to steal my lunch. Nigga, what? <laughs> you I used told me. To, I used to work at Walmart. I used to go to the deli and I used to, I used to get food. But what I do is I, I take a like old receipt that somebody had yeah. and then I put it on top of my food. Yeah. I go get me a Gatorade, nigga. <laughs> I go get a TV dinner Boy I be in the break room Eating good I ain't paying what? shit I did that at Kroger too I was hitting Kroger Bro we know We know nigga We not gonna say his name But <laughs> Niggas was trying to steal Whole vacuums From Walmart <laughs> I said nigga How the fuck You gonna get a vacuum Bro, that's, <laughs> Carefully <laughs> bro, That's, a, that's so why I'm gonna spit in my leg My <laughs> leg pants bro <laughs> That's why you don't Give niggas access to oh, shit Bro when I was Stocking shit at Kroger Bro I was I remember I stole some sea salt one time. <laughs> some pink sea salt. Niggas will be stealing anything, bro. Just <laughs> just <looking nice. laughs> bro, I stole I would lo- never pay for this. <laughs> nigga, I, stole a, I stole a lobster one. <laughs> 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 to be fair, my coworker helped me. My nigga bro. worked in the deli. And I used to like, I was stocking shit. Yeah. I was in the frozen <laughs> department. So I used to always put that shit in the freezer. So yeah. I came by at the end. I was like, how much one of them lobsters is? Boy, it was time to go. That nigga said, I can put a sticker on it and you can pay for it. You can put it in your jacket and walk out. Boy, I put that shit in my jacket and I walked the fuck <laughs> out. Nigga said, I ate a whole hood lobster. <laughs> we ain't good that night, nigga. Bro, <laughs> that's why I say when niggas be getting on Jamie Winston, bro. when he was stealing the lob- them lobsters, I was nigga, like, somebody, I understand, nigga. Bro. I understand, bro. You know how expensive crabs <laughs> nigga, and shit what? is? Bro, I went to Hooters the other day. A, a, a pound of crabs is $30. <laughs> Nigga, nigga, I was with you. Yeah, with that shit we happened. went to. <laughs> I was like, damn, nigga, the, we, the we fuck. Twenty five for the pound bro, of shrimp. That shit was crazy. It's insane. Bro. That's why I still. That and, shit don't make no sense. I can't afford it, but why? Bro, why pay for it? Like you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, bro, I stole a steak from Target yesterday just to prove <laughs> I still had it. <laughs> they got a these are these are all theoretical crimes. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Your honor, it was me. I did that shit. <laughs> These are assumptions. We can't make any uh, guilty or non guilty verdicts yet. Proven yes, until yes, innocent ma'am. until proven. <laughs> <laughs> it was me, your honor. <laughs> Why are you, <yes>, man? <laughs> I stole that shit. <laughs> they can't prove it though. The state gone. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, so I want to move. So now we talk about some of the teams in the preseason. Um, also, uh, for the teams in the preseason, I do want to shout out some players too. Uh, Tanner McKee from Stanford is doing pretty good. Yeah. Um, we said Deuce Vaughn already. Yeah. Um, Trey Palmer already said. Uh, what's the nigga name? It's another nigga. It's a couple of niggas. I can't. I can't 
keep get them up in my because it's, it's so it's many. so many and, and it's like and, they're not players that we used to like hearing yeah, their name on exactly. a daily basis. So I'll watch a game. I'll be like, oh, number four, Cole. It's right. like just don't know number four. Exactly. Man. And Rasheed Rice. Rasheed Rice is another one that like oh, um ball and I and I told Dog. <laughs> and, I, and I told and I said, bro, I, I niggas can go back in the videos and watch. I said Rasheed Rice is my favorite. Um he just got drafted at SMU. I tell him yeah. he's my favorite receiver in the draft. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, so I think I think Chiefs Shout out still. all the rookies, man. Shout, Shout out, out all the rookies, rookies making their dreams come through. You know, you know what I'm saying? Come through, you know. I could have went to the NFL, Boy, but <laughs> that's what everybody said. Stop, stop going to football practice. <laughs> you know, I could have went, but you know, yeah. I, I you found a better job. Yeah, I found a better job. I'm busting my knee, you know. Yeah. You know, but you, but you ain't never been injured <laughs> <laughs> ever. No, this you nigga. know how it is. You know how it is. I busted my knee. You bro, know this nigga's what I'm never been injured. You know bro. what I'm saying. But enough about me, though. Enough about me. <laughs> next stop. <topic>. Next topic. <laughs> enough about me. <laughs> so, uh, okay, next topic. I, I want to talk about the uh, Trey Lance trade for a little bit. Did you yeah. see that? Yeah. Um, what did you think of that? I think that's, bro. I think that's like a sign to Dak. I think. I think that was like a. Hey nigga, don't get too complacent. I agree. We we, any, I agree. we can get anybody yeah. to fuck up out I agree. Like, and I genuinely like, think that's what that was. Damn. And people keep people like they act like oh Trey Lance's ass. This is, Trey Lance is only twenty three, bro. Yeah. And then also like or it's around there like look at like, uh what's his name Geno Smith. Geno Smith. Geno Smith in his thirties just now playing the best football. That's what I'm of saying. It's like it's like bro, bro. Sometimes it's just about the system you're in. Yeah. And then another thing that don't help Trey Lance, bro, is that like forty nine ers did not do him a good service at I don't all, think bro. They did. Nigga didn't not. Nigga has only played one <laughs> full season of football in like since high school, bro. That's insane. Like, what do you expect? Cause, cause like the season he played on uh, in North, that one got canceled because yeah. of COVID. Yeah. So then he got drafted a year later. Yeah, yeah. And he's only, bro. That's tough. He's only played like four games since high that's, school. That's <laughs> tough. That's well, tough. I, since that first his se- first uh, season of him starting, but other, after that, in, like now you in the big league, you in the league, like, bro, you're in the major leagues now. Yeah, and he just trying, like he just yeah. trying to like make it, and like I feel like they they did him a disservice, um, and putting him in that situation where he, they they had Jimmy Garoppolo already. Yeah. Um, they fucking when they signed some quarterbacks, they they drafted Brock Purdy. So now it's like sixteen quarterbacks. Yeah, and and you. I hate you to go at, back to the race thing, but I feel <laughs> I feel like they give up on black quarterbacks too fast. Too. Ooh, it's a lot of sorry ass car. white quarterbacks that they be circulating around the league. That, I will I will say this. I, I don't care what nobody say, bro. <laughs> Nigga. It is so many ass white quarterbacks that get they, <laughs> they they're like get back, they just get bro. circulated, they get bro. Circulated. Like, come on now, bro. Like, <laughs> we, we I don't want to name names, 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 but I, I don't want I don't want to name names. But I'm just saying, it's certain it's certain people that like Blake Bortles. Bro, <laughs> is he even on the team? I don't even know. He was then starting he, in one play. He was asked for like every bro. It's a lot of me. I'm not gonna say names, but I'm just saying it's a lot of the motherfuckers bro. that suck, bro. And, like, just, and also. I don't know. I I I think it's like a wake up call to Dak though. Like yeah. I think that's a listen. I know some shit ain't been going right in the past. Nah, I know you real. ain't been healthy. Mm-hmm. I know this because uh, bro, no their whole team it. is loaded, bro. Yeah. Like the only the literally the only reason I feel like the only reason that they don't make it is because Dak plays ass. Yeah, and now. And at last year, at one point, I was kind of like, eh, our receivers are eh. But I yeah. feel like now, like, we Bro, got, a good rec- Cooks, got a good receiving CD board. Lamb. Yeah. Uh, Michael Gallup. I like Michael Gallup a yeah, lot. Yeah, Michael, like Michael uh, Gallup a lot. Some, what, what's that nickname? Jack Pickett. Boy. <laughs> we talking about, this is, not, this is not the A7 football league, so. <laughs> oh, my God. I think they, I think they look nice, Yeah, Yeah, they look nice. I feel like, I don't know. I don't think you can I kind of want to get Stu on here to. Yeah. See his delusion on the Cowboys. You on know, Stu's our 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 personal Cowboys <laughs> insider. You got personal Cowboy delusions. <laughs> <laughs> our car Cowboy delusion. You need, a, you need a hot take on the nah, Cowboys. For real. Got you. I, I'm I gonna trade Ezekiel Elliott <laughs> for Jalen Ramsey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is an actual quote. That's an actual quote, bro. <laughs> I kid you not. Quote. This nigga. I don't know if he if he's selling the podcast, but he definitely said to me. I kid you. <laughs> nigga said I will trade Ezekiel Elliott. For Jalen Ramsey, like, <laughs> like that was possible, bro. I'm th- hey, but he's not oh, here to defend himself, yeah. so I'm, I'm gonna let him get back on the podcast whenever he need to. But yeah, you yeah. know, he he doing what he need to do. Yeah. But um uh yeah, 
that was delusional. But <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I, I feel like the I agree with you. I feel like the Trey Lance trade is like kind of like putting feet fire to Dak's feet type shit. Where it's like nigga, like we figure already looking out. at other options. Yeah, you know like, what I'm saying. Figure if, it you, out. if you don't figure this shit out, it remind me like what we going through right now. Kind of remind me of like the Romo era. Yeah, we had so much talent. That's true. We just couldn't fucking That's get true. it done. Yeah. And it's like to me, it's starting to look like that again. And I mm-hmm. think also they looking at the all around talent, like like somebody like Michael Parsons. Yeah. How long do you think this nigga is gonna be a part of a team that's not getting over the hump and going like we got a generational fucking player on our defense? Yeah. So I think they start to look at the all around. So like mm-hmm. even with like to not to go away from football, but like with basketball, even somebody like Luca, how long do you think these niggas are gonna be content with losing? Bro, sometimes like with like especially the Cowboys, like yeah. Dallas teams, like it's all. My thing is like I, it's like niggas can never, it's always can't get right. Like yeah. niggas, niggas, we. I think the main issue is that no matter how good our team is, yeah, when the big moments come, bro, we fold. We fold. Something just goes. Something wrong. just goes wrong. We something fold. Goes Someone wrong. gets injured. Many we just fold, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. like niggas just stop, stop playing. Dak plays the worst game he yeah. had the whole season. Talking about niggas would be looking unstoppable. Like you know what I'm saying, but then bro? When like, we look bad. We look bad. bad. <laughs> like niggas look like they forgot to play football. It's That's like, a fact. I hope I hope we get over that hump this year, bro. Because the talent that we got in specific, our defense, bro. You can almost say it's a curse, bro. Yeah, we fucking <laughs> curse. Ever since they deemed us America's team. Nah, for real. Shit. You know We've been playing curse. like America. We've been fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely America's team. Why. Just be fucking up. Nah, for real. That's a very fitting title for very us. Very fitting title. But um, yeah, so that we're gonna end the preseason because I don't want to talk too much about the preseason. It's just the preseason. But uh <laughs> The real we, season starting two the, weeks. The real, yeah, like a week or two. A week and a half. Um, so, but I, I, I want to get into other topics uh, other than football. So, we had this <laughs> conversation, right? <laughs> so, as y'all know, Asian, as Asian doll, Asian doll. <laughs> she, she, she made a tweet. She was saying, um. What she say something about like if you thirty over thirty and rapping like yeah you gotta give it you up. gotta give it up or yeah. something or like or you some some like that basically if you're thirty or you're over thirty rapping you gotta give it up um that made a lot of pe- niggas mad on say cheese TV I'll tell you that <laughs> <laughs> what that bitch know about music <laughs> but you on OnlyFans <laughs> as well I but think- um what what okay let let's let's have this talk like yeah. what what is the the cutoff age. Not even the cutoff age. Cause, I think but it like, is one, though. Like, you even think it's being, a cutoff age? I think it's a cutoff age to, like... I'm trying to figure out how to put this right. Because I, I don't think anybody pursuing their dreams, like, is, is like, a lame thing. Like, I do think you, if, you, if a nigga was, like, 38... <laughs> I'm just being honest, bro. Like, it depends on what type of music you And do. he was making trap music. <laughs> 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 He like, was making trap music, nigga. Like he you know, just wait, he woke up at thirty seven. No, no, he's been his, doing this since like his twenties. Yeah, but he's making trap music, but he like he know we're close to <laughs> to like you know even making money off of off of. And that. and that okay, that's what I think it is for yeah. me. I think if I think if you're putting. I think if you're putting a lot into something mm-hmm. and you're not getting that return from it, and it doesn't always have to be financial. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It could be the publicity, it could right. be the clout. Like Status. if you're not if you're not getting any of that, I think at that point, and that's not just with music, that's with anything, mm-hmm. you know, but music in specific, because I think music is a young man's game. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we we always glorify the younger people. It's the energy and shit right. that we look for with them. And that's I think true. when you get older, it's like I ain't trying to hear no 38-year-old nigga talking about this shit. I'm sorry, bro. Like, so, <laughs> Maybe it's an age limit for making trap re- trap music yeah. and rapping or whatnot. But <laughs> so I, ain't trying. I, I will say rap is a, is a young man's game. Yeah. I, I will say that because, you know, <laughs> it's just a young man's game, bro. Like, like, I feel like rap is all about, like, kind of, like, clout and, yeah, like, yeah, waves yeah. and trends. And Being really, thirty eight, still trying to get music cloud is. Kind but of see, cloud. and and I think, <laughs> <laughs> but but there's also people people forget like people think the music industry is just big name rappers, bro. Yeah, the music you. industry is a whole. Remember, you told me about um like the dude you saw like it's there's a bunch of ways to make money in music. There's like, a, um 
I was I was talking to this guy who was telling me about some guy in Dallas. His name was like Frosty Two One Four. Yeah, and he had like a song that was Shameless like shout out. bubbling. Shout out Frosty Two One Four. <laughs> shout out Frosty Two One Four. But apparently, like he um he had like one song that was you know kind of like buzzing in the city. Yeah, and then he went from doing like that instead of trying to like become like a Mainstream I guess you could say, yeah he makes he makes music for like soundtracks for like movies and commercials mm. and shit like that or yeah. whatnot. So that's why I say like it don't necessarily got to be about if you're not getting a certain amount of clout. If you yeah. see that yo, if you see you progressing and you seeing that you starting to be more successful with it, I think you just keep doing it until nah, you, because real. like let's look at somebody like Two Chains. Two Chains didn't blow up until he was you know he yeah, had been around. Some. Yeah, that nigga when he didn't blow up until his early thirties. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I I definitely think that as long as you. As long as you don't feel like that shit is starting to become a waste of time. Like, I feel like if you <laughs> stop, I think if you're passionate about something like, you know, who's to say that you should give it up, you yeah. know, but there is you do also have to be realistic, though, at the same time. Yeah. Like if you got kids and you got this, that and the third and it's like you pursuing that music is starting to take away from, you know, your family and shit mm -hmm. or whatnot. Not saying you need to give it up. Maybe you need to restructure. Maybe you need to decide to try to be an A and R or a yeah, songwriter exactly. or something like that. Yeah. But I think everybody got this thing where they want to be in front of the camera. In front of the camera. That's the thing. I feel like people like nowadays, like people people that <laughs> upset. Who <We'll> call it? <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, okay, I feel I feel like people nowadays. Um, they like they just they everyone wants to clout right. Yeah. So it's like and and I get it because you know, like if that's why I feel like a lot of times people like buy flashy shit and yeah, stuff yeah. because it's like if no one knows oh you making so much money you're like yeah. damn like no one knows you know it's kind of crazy that like yeah. we at that point now it's like. People don't even want to be successful. Made up, bro. So they just want they just people want to, to think, think that they're successful. successful. That's the main thing. It's like yeah. it don't it don't matter fucking if you're successful or not. Just yeah. as long as people think you have money, yeah. just as long as they think you're successful. It's just that because everyone like Yeah. I wanna be never mind. But yeah, it's just that. Like yeah. it's just like everyone's like I can know. think of a lot of times when niggas was thought when the niggas thought that I was having it and I really didn't have it. You know what I'm saying, bro? And it's like it's like it's like <laughs> so many times. And then the opposite like when that. niggas like think that you don't, that you don't it. have it and you like you got it. Nigga, you got it. Like you got so it's it. like bro, me me personally, like again, like I know everyone's different, but I, I would rather be like an unknown ass nigga unknown with, with, with three hundred million. Like you know what I'm saying, bro? Like what yeah. the fuck? Like Bro, there's so many niggas that like make, is make money and they live a happy life. And yeah. they, don't, they don't have to. They make more money than some of these niggas that have to answer to everything. And, and like, fact, and they, they don't have fact. to answer the shit. Like, I would rather be comfortable than yeah. like famous. Like, I would, I would hate to be famous. Like, even doing this shit. Like, when we do the podcast, like. We don't ever be sitting around talking about nigga when this shit blow up and when we on bro. Now, we just we enjoy doing this shit. Like you know what I'm saying, bro? Whether like whether it blow up or not, but it's like we having fun. Not for real. <laughs> like time and, 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 and that's my that's the thing. And it's like I feel like we've gone away from that so much because of It's all about the dollar sign, yeah. Now. Social media really like yeah. the dollar sign. It's just, you know, people people they just everyone just goes by perception, like yeah. and so that's that's where we're at right now. But do you think it's an age limit? Like, let's say you think it should be a cutoff for I think for making your music or whatnot. Do you think that this should be a cutoff point for you trying to pursue a certain type of lifestyle? I don't think it should be a cutoff for you pursuing a certain well, I mean it depends. Okay, you're right. Or how you or how you're going about getting that lifestyle. Let me say that. Because we should always strive for wealth. Yeah. And we should always strive to be bigger. But it's like Ideally, when you get 35, 38, like, are you still trying to be the person that's going live on Instagram? Are we in the studio again today? Yeah. If it's nah. never paid dividends yeah, to you? Nah. Like, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> like you know, you you like, you know what you're saying? Like, drinking yeah. and smoking. Like, bro, you're 38. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You Slow can't, down, you can't just wake up the next day and fucking do the same thing all shake over back. again. <laughs> yeah, just shake like, back like nothing. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, yeah. so it's like, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, like. 
I feel like it's a cutoff time for got to be more realistic yeah. with, your, with your goals and stuff. Well, you know, you can't start the show without the so, star. <laughs> <laughs> we got green light finally. Now we almost done. What's up, guys? I'm your host, Chucks. We got throwing the uh, throwing the towel podcast. We got my boy Jack right here. We got my boy Green Light at the end. Green Light over here. I just know. cut these boys' hair, man. Boy. <laughs> don't let them fool you. Boy forgot to cut his own. I don't even. All I do is cut their hair, man. All I do is cut their hair. You got clippers in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Let but now let, let let me ask you this question because I mean, we only got like <laughs> eight, eight, eight like minutes. Eight but, minutes left. but I'm gonna ask you this question because this is really the question I wanted to get to. Uh, wh- um, so we're having we're having the conversation about like when is the cutoff? You, did you see that Asian doll tweet mm. about her? She was like, if you if you're over thirty, I'm not, I don't know if she talked like this, but I'm just assuming. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not gonna. <laughs> she said, if you're over thirty, you like you just like. What you doing still rapping? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, still oh, to make oh, I think I did. I did see, uh, <laughs> so I see a little bit of that. I'm yeah. asking, you know, is it a cutoff <laughs> age to rap it? Like, to work, like, you know, to, to try to make it. <laughs> so, my, my, so, my dad in his 60s, like, if he wake up tomorrow, if he wake up, and he's, uh, like, 52 12, Savage, bro. If you want to start, if you want to start his rap career, no, I okay, even let's that's, say he been that's rapping. That's what I was saying. I feel like if you okay. starting that shit at a certain age, it's too late. that's kind of wild. Let it go. That's let's say um, it's a nigga who's 38 years old. <laughs> He's been rapping since he's been 23. And he's been trying to make it, you know? He go on, he go on Facetime. I mean, he go on live, he's been live in the studio. <laughs> nigga, 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 paying for say cheese um, promotion. Fifteen years in the game is wild <laughs> to not make it. And, and I'm gonna say he's not even close <laughs> to not make it. In fifteen years is insane. I said, I feel, to a game. I said, I feel like you should at that point, like you should switch it up, like try to be an A and R, try yeah. to be a songwriter, explore but, different, explore different yeah, avenues like, in the yeah. industry. You don't gotta yeah. give up on your dream, but yeah. I think like what we was talking about was like everybody want that clout. Mm-hmm. Like I make music And I don't release that shit To nobody Like y'all know My shit be yeah, fine right, I just right. I sit around like I genuinely like Making music right. for myself for yourself. I ain't never Like I'm in yeah. a position To where financially Like I make good money Doing what I'm doing So like I don't look at music Anymore as a means To like change my life When I was 20 though I did Yeah. When yeah. I was 21, 22 I was like, like This shit could possibly happen You know what I'm you saying, know what I'm saying? Like, And it's like Now that I get older I'm just like <laughs> I'm but also, it's funny that you say that. I feel like you get more realistic. Yeah, but not only that, bro. It's like 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 Jack was saying. Like you know, it's just different ways. I think sometimes, like I was telling Jack, like we just think, oh, like the music industry is just little baby and and this no, like it's a whole music. Like oh yeah, where do you think like like Jack Jack? No, like, I met somebody that was telling me about this guy that had a song in Dallas, uh, Frosty Two One Four, and his song was buzzing and whatnot. That nigga make movies. He make music for. Uh, he submits his music to United Masters. He strictly makes shit for like movie soundtracks and commercials and shit now. Yeah, that's a lane. You know that's what I'm saying? Lane, like, I never knew about. that was a lane until that nigga told yeah, me that like two days ago, and I was just like, I was mind fucked. Like, where do like, where you think they got all this crazy. music from? Or all these like yeah. whatever. Yeah. Like, and that so. shit clicked to me. I was like, bro, because there's so many songs that you hear and like you like I've never heard of this yeah, nigga. For real. Yeah. But it's and like, they be in the games. They be in the yes. movies. Movie games, movies, TV all shows. Yeah. I think he told me that's one of the biggest things that he do is. Make shit for like video games and yeah. stuff, so it's yeah. like that's it's, where it's money at for real. Yeah, we be honest. You getting a lot of residuals from it, and yeah, a lot of yeah. and that's another thing we was talking about. A lot of these niggas want you to think that they got it, and they don't really even be having it. Nah, it's facts. just a perception. That's what the rap game is, though. I you think know, it's image. Yeah, yeah, songwriters yeah. have more money than the actual writer than the actual yeah. artists. Bro, I was so nigga, signing I NDAs like, and shit. Like, like yeah, yeah, be quiet, yeah. cool. Bro, <laughs> Let me write this shit. Give me that check. Like, we we check. was we, we was talking check. about how uh how many songs the fucking Dream has wrote for people. Yeah. Oh yeah, I bro, know he been. Dream don't wrote so much shit, bro. Not just him. Neo, Neo, Neo wrote a lot of shit. Neo um, is a uh, avid songwriter. Curry, Curry Hilson. You know who wrote a you know who wrote a lot of Bow Wow first album? Who? Ti. Bro. Yeah, T.R. Damn, Ryan. that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> shit. I knew Bow Bow Wow. They got all his shit written. Yeah. Snoop was Snoop was writing his shit before that. Yeah, I think, but, but it's a lot of Rick Ross done wrote a lot of songs for people. Like it's yeah. a lot of niggas yeah. that like write songs that a lot of people don't even take into account. So yeah, I think at that mm. point, Lil I Yachty. think Lil Yachty, Yeah, he wrote uh, for the City Girls. Yeah. <laughs> she's twenty one. Twenty one wrote the uh, that hit Post Malone had. 
I think he wrote two of them. Rockstar. Damn near. Rockstar. Yeah, it's yeah. another one though. Pusha T wrote the McDonald's. Ba da 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 da. I'm loving it. Yeah, Pusha T wrote that shit. Did he made my mama. Yeah, Pusha T wrote that. I love Kanye, bro, that's but right. I know. That's Pusha why niggas talk about that. flipping bricks. And stuff. <laughs> he yeah. flipping burgers. Yeah. <laughs> he made yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, get it. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. Might as well be. <laughs> he was literally packaging shit. Off of that check, yeah. <laughs> bro, well, he's Man. still getting paid to the hub. Off of that check? Yeah. How much white I sold? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> How many burgers you flipped? A lot. That's crazy. But yeah, that that was. Um, we really don't have too much time left to be honest. It's okay. It's okay. Can't put a time. What else? What else y'all talk about? But we talked about okay. We, we recap. Uh, we talked about preseason NFL teams. Who you think was the best? Okay. Uh, who had the best? I don't know if you've been watching the preseason, but um, uh, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit here and there. Yeah. We just talked about, like, what teams was doing good and what players specifically I think were. the Colts going to be a uh, surprise. You think yeah, Anthony Richardson going to show some? I think he, he can go one or two ways because, like, the same thing with Trey Lance ain't started a lot of games. Anthony Andrew, Richardson has yeah. not started a lot of yeah, games. Like he's only started 13 games. But I'm rooting for that nigga because I like I like seeing young niggas win. Yeah. Like, um, and I think I think he a really good athlete. I think he'll figure it out. But I think it can go yeah. one or two ways. I think he can end up being really good, or I think they can fuck his confidence by throwing I think, him in there so early. He only I like, one. But see, I like the what, what they're doing. I like that they Throw actually that don't. The fire. Yes, bro. And mm-hmm. then not only Sink that, like, swim, nigga. <laughs> nigga, what? And then <laughs> not only that, like, no, make respect, or break you. I respect this. They Sink have they have the infrastructure to like. You know what I'm saying? They got the coach that 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 coach that they have. He uh, he was the head coach. I don't know if he's a head coach, but he was the offensive coordinator for um, Jalen Hurts and them. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's like oh yeah, they yeah, did go over there. Yeah, so it's like it's like like bro, like that's. Um. They might be a sleeper, bro. You know what I'm saying like, he's just reminding me of some a team that impressed me. The uh. The Redskins slash Commanders. Yeah, the Redskins. The Redskins do look. They got nice Eric Benemy now. Yeah, you know Eric Benemy yeah, was yeah. the fucking Ooh, uh, was, Chiefs. Uh, he was the Chiefs corner. offensive court. Boy, okay, I'm, that was another big move that happened. Nigga, them niggas look nice in preseason, nice. bro. Yeah. I was lo- looking at that play call. I'm like, God damn, yeah, yeah, like nah, for real. It, the difference that a, a coordinator Ooh. can do. Bro, he finna take all the Kansas City shit over there because he been a top coordinator for a minute. Yeah, yeah. he been the top for a minute. He had them niggas looking nice, bro. Yeah, he y'all think Kansas can go back? Do it again. I think Patrick Mahomes can do anything. If you had Patrick Mahomes, then you can go anywhere. <laughs> Fried chicken. <laughs> I think I think this is the year that the league. <laughs> you see, you seen that shit when they when they, they asked his wife what's his favorite cheat day meal. <laughs> She said fried chicken. <laughs> he said nope. She said chicken fried chicken. <laughs> he said Mexican food. <laughs> I swear to God, this what? is the thing on oh, national TV. Fried bro. chicken. Yeah, it was, it was his wife. His wife, said. his wife, bro. She <laughs> something wrong with her. They be talking about her like in the in the media and shit. Like fried chicken. <laughs> oh, nigga. She said fried chicken. She sang that bitch like. I know that shit look like a Boondocks episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That nigga looks so disappointed. Like, nigga, nigga, nigga. <laughs> why, why are you saying this in public? <laughs> it was the fried chicken part ain't what's crazy. It's the fact that he said no and she doubled back with chicken fried chicken. Bro, I know, I know, I know something with chicken. Yeah, I know. Come, <laughs> back. Come <laughs> back. This man has a wide range of like family members, bro. His like, dad, from a his nigga. dad, yeah, like, his dad smoked black and mild in the 40s. Like, so you got, you got smoking on that Joe Burrow. <laughs> Bro, that's wild. Then you have your wife. Yeah. Here, the, the, your favorite cheat meal is chicken. Fried, fried chicken. chicken. Fried chicken. Not then baked you chicken. His brother. I ain't gonna say nothing. But then you have <laughs> Bro, that's a little freaky ass nigga. Allegedly. That's a little. Bro, that nigga's like 6'8, bro. That's crazy. That's he a play, big that nigga, freaky I think he played basketball in high school. Hey, when that nigga grabbed her. Dick turned her around. I said, "Nah, bro." <laughs> you watched? You watch she didn't want. I see that video. Yeah. Oh, oh damn! I didn't even see it. Yeah, yeah that's the video. Family. They dropped the video like some months ago. Damn. <laughs> Who did it worse? Him or NLE Chopper? <laughs> Not NLE Chopper. Uh, YK Osiris. YK Osiris. <laughs> nah, his his was way worse. Bro. YK Osiris. <laughs> I, I, okay, let, let, let's YK talk Osiris about that. YK Osiris wasn't that bad. His was slight. Like he like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, hey, hey, nah. hey, nah. hey. Nah. We, we take sexual assault. We take sexual assault very, seriously. Seriously. very seriously. He's speaking yes. for himself. No, look, look. This nigga grabbed her head. The way Jackson Mahomes did that shit, bro. Like you going to jail, bro? That's true. But 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 grabbed her dick, turned her around, kissed her in the mouth. 
But the so way she Wyatt, wanna try to get away from that nigga. Yeah, and she looked visibly yeah, nah, like she pulled her head. Why can't you? Why can't you? But but light skin shit. Facts. Facts. Don't hold that against us women. Dark skinned men don't do that. I am we don't media do that. trained. We don't do that. <laughs> He's over here. Oh, that boy conservative today. <laughs> that, that's crazy. My nigga changed political party. I'm still a radical. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Shout out to WNBA. No, I don't even think you niggas can. always say shout. Out. Y'all niggas don't even watch the WNBA. I'm the no, one no. that actually watches no. WNBA. Name, name, name five teams from WNBA. Come on, WNBA? let's go. Let's go. The Dallas Wings, Las okay. Vegas Sparks. We go Las Vegas Aces. Las Vegas Sparks. The Liberty Aces. Chicago Liberty. Liberty what? Liberty Mutual. Chicago Sky. It's the Chicago Sky. <laughs> Chicago York, Sky. Chicago Sky. The uh, the LA Sparks. Yes, sir. Niggas in Chicago Liberty. It's, it's Chicago York, Sky. New York no, Liberty. It's, it's not New York Liberty. It is, it is New York. It's New York Liberty. The Liberty of New Liberty, York. Liberty of statue. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess. Nigga, we from Texas. But what <laughs> name? Name the Oklahoma team. Uh, women's Tulsa Shock. Do they have Oklahoma? That's the yeah. G League team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can just name something. <laughs> <laughs> that's the G League team. I swear hey, that's the G League that team. That shit sounded believable. Nah, for real. You sure? That's OKC uh, G League team. Bro, no, it's not. Think, name name, name Seattle's team. Seattle's team. Oh, Seattle. Uh, Supersonics. <laughs> I was about to say. Damn. That. It's something like a Supersonic, though. Like, I can't say. This is sad. Diana Taurasi. <laughs> what team did she play for? Seattle. She played for. Uh, she played for the Fever. Yeah. They gonna cry oh, us. No, we, no, she played for uh, the Fever. Is another team. They gonna cast us before he, we ever get off. Y'all niggas don't see. See, I watch WNBA. No, he does not, yo. Diana Taurasi plays for the Phoenix Mercury. The Phoenix Mercury. That's that's the other team. <laughs> <laughs> that's the other team. Hey, you named but, over five though. Chill. Yeah, I really did. I, I, yeah. Scott, I'll, give the Aces, I'll give y'all that. I'll give y'all that. The Aces, the Wings, the Liberty, and the Sparks. Yeah, yeah. You ain't even know the Dallas team though. I, nigga, I want to watch it, bro. I know you know about Satu Sabu. Nigga, I know, I know the Dallas team. Trust me, they played at my my school's my school's gym. I know the Dallas team. What school? UT Arlington. That's their home court. I'm just being honest, bro. No, they. It is, bro. See now, bro. No, no comment. Nigga, when they, I, they are not playing at UT. Bro, they was you playing at UT. The floor? Bro, they was playing at UT Arlington when I was there. That was bro, the home court, bro. That's years ago, bro. Nigga, that was like three years ago. <laughs> exactly. You know how much progress women have made? See, that's bro, how I know you don't pay attention. Nigga. I'm not. That's I'm, how I know you. I'm not speaking on this topic. These niggas are wild. <laughs> These niggas are wild. Bro, I, nah. I actually watch it. See, that's I thought that's they hooked at the wreck. <laughs> Yo. See, I, hey, look. Y'all want you? Y'all can say what the fuck y'all want. No, I love that. This is going to be going on live internet. So the women cold as fuck. Nice bro, it'll go to the next level. Okay, when start one, one more topic. Then we're talking about about women, the WNBA. Um, and we're we're done because, um, you know uh, what's that girl's <laughs> name that played for LSU? Angel uh, Reese. Angel Reese. I'm sorry, I I, I had a thing, but um. She says she's not tripping on going to the WNBA. Does she make more money yeah. off of her NIL? Bro, they said she has like a McDonald's deal, bro, this deal. Like, I'm like, bro. damn. They do it. She got everything. So what do you think is the future of the WNBA? If, if I think it's going to be good because when, when people like her, Caitlin Clark and all them, because they hoop like they used to play with niggas growing but up. See, the right. issue, I, I get where she's coming from because the issue with that happens is that a lot of these, like the women's players, they'll gain so much notoriety in college. Yeah. And then they'll get to the WNBA and no one ever hears about them again. She just announced that she's not like doing no more like in, in class, like classes yeah, because she, she done became fame. that yeah. big of a celebrity. Yeah. She just, uh, she just got Mercedes. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. So I know she got. What yeah, were we doing at 21? Not that <laughs> nigga, I was charging niggas three dollars. I was stealing from Target. To, three dollars to record, <laughs> nigga. Three dollars to take you home, nigga. I'm dead. <laughs> oh my God. That's what I was doing. I was working in a FedEx warehouse for two months. At you was working at FedEx. That was the worst job I ever fucking had. No, I was like nineteen or twenty. At yeah, time. what was I doing at twenty one? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> we were making, <laughs> making music at twenty one. Nah, for real. That's crazy, but yeah, I, I don't know. Today. Maybe we can talk about that later, but I don't want to even get too into it because we just, I, I feel like it would be better if we had like a, 
a woman woman's, discussion about it. Yeah, like or like a, a woman. Like a woman's I'm a woman's basketball exactly. player. A woman here too. Not just a, a woman who actually watches them yet. I'm, I'm a man honest, that watches. Bro. It's tough though, bro. Like, bro I, ain't, so I personally I haven't swear met. To God, I watch bro, WNBA games, bro. You ain't met no could, women you, that watch WNBA though. Me neither, bro. And that's the thing. It's like so, like you're like people are are young. Like, bro, if if women are not watching it, who's gonna watch it? I watch it. <laughs> I think men. I, watch, I, I, know, I think men game. might be the biggest, the biggest uh, viewers of big men. Men are the only viewers. This of is WNBA gonna sound shit. really sexist, and, and bro. But the only thing that's gonna take the WNBA to bro, the next level. Say, I, that, no, 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 no. This is gonna sound sexist. I, I know what you're gonna say. I'm too. Go ahead. Go ahead. People ain't gonna start watching it like that until the women that get into the league are all pretty and athletic. And I'm just no, being. Nah, nah, I nah, watch. Don't associate you with. <laughs> I'm. I'm just. No. I'm saying. Hey, oh, cancel him God. alone. A, no, but I'm. I'm saying like, let's be honest. Like the views and opinions of, of everyone on the podcast. This is a very. I'm. I'm. I'm speaking for the masses. I watch it currently. He said the masses because I love. I love basketball. Like basketball. I get what you're saying. Only, I get basketball what you're saying. is the only sport that like. I can like sit down and watch like I can't sit down and watch football all day. No, but I can watch basketball all day. Like I even I probably watch more WNBA than I watch college basketball. Like just mm. being honest, that's because college is too many teams. But I'm just saying like until they get super athletic and start dunking, or until it get to the point to where every single person on the stage is like a dime, you yeah. know, looking yeah. like the Angel Reese's or the Candace Parkers or Scholar Diggins. That's just how we are as people. We're yeah. visual people. So if y'all, if they not jumping out the gym, people gonna be looking for the next thing, which is are they attractive? Yeah. And that's I just thought, that's the fucked up truth. That's yeah, just true. really what that's it true. is. I, I thought think, you was gonna say uh, lower the goal. No, he you says say, that all the time. No, I, I mean, I, I think they, I think eight eight that would I think that would be insulting to them. Yeah. I think it'll do them a disservice. But, you know, as soon as soon as the do it. Between the legs, <laughs> yeah, you gonna be like, ooh, but it's gonna bring excitement. So basically, we we're, we're saying that we have the answers for the WNBA, right? But um, I think it's fine the way it is. Okay, <laughs> oh, no, I lower do too. The, lower I the think goals. It's fine. Don't lower the goals. <laughs> lower the goals. That's Jack said thing. they should be prettier. Green said lower the goals. <laughs> nigga, I think I it's fine. <laughs> so Yo. with that being said. <laughs> Let's wrap up today's episode. <laughs> you know, um, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning into another episode of Throwing the Towel Podcast. You know, you you know where to find us at. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel Throwing the Towel Two One Four. Yo, go on Twitter, follow us on Twitter, follow, follow us me on, on Instagram. Uh, yeah, give give y'all handles out so I they can follow my Twitter, you. But my what? Instagram Jack <laughs> underscore Jonas three three. Damn, they're gonna miss the fire on Twitter. <laughs> but remember it's not the days, Twitter no more. It's called Jax. Bro, <laughs> Jack was called the hell on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I, think he was, bro. I used to stay get Hey, he was. I'm fin- matter of fact, I'm finna start back using Twitter. Follow me on X Jack underscore Pickett P I C K E T T three. I think it was called the hell. Nigga had battle rappers. Yeah, I used to- <laughs> I did. Hey, hey, Twitter Jackson was a different <laughs> nigga. Now I just be on Snapchat, Instagram story. I'm gonna yeah, get back on. It's because they changed too much shit. Yeah, bro. they did. Now it's not even Twitter. Twitter. It's I, don't, called- I don't like that, bro. Y'all technically not even saying the right. It's called X. That's what I'm saying. That's wild. <laughs> I don't like that, bro. That's Give weird. Your handle on X and, and everything. Else. <laughs> follow my nigga. That sounds weird, bro. Like we on X. Follow me X. on X. Formerly Twitter. That boy Trigger making me. everything too minimalistic. Yeah, like, come on, bro. Wild. But yeah, you can follow me. Green light UDF. That's okay. that's your X handle. It's my X handle. Yeah, <laughs> my X handle. And go my watch, ground handle. Go watch Green's X videos. So um, <laughs> that's <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, oh, so whoa. So we gonna my go follow me on Instagram <laughs> produced by CP P R O D B Y underscore C P. I don't have an X handle, you know. We not gonna act like you did. Um, you got the X videos. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna cut that part out. <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all for tuning in, man. If y'all like the uh, content, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, hit us up on our e- we have our email in the. Uh, We'll throw in the towel two one four at gmail.com. You can uh contact us with any um 
feedback, feedback, cr- criticism. Get in the comments um, too with the hate. Get in the comments with the hate. I'm telling you. I was just you. telling that I love yeah. hate. Jack gonna read all the hate, <laughs> and, we, and he gonna clap back. The cowboys suck. So y'all better. I got to. Yeah, we gonna talk about yeah, that. Yeah, so do what you gotta but, do. What y'all gotta do, man. <laughs> <laughs> Darius was mad because he got called out. But I'll uh, argue a nigga. Thank y'all for, nigga for tuning in. <laughs> yes, I am. Thank y'all. I don't believe in taking the high road. <laughs> to, to you, the you, you go low, we turn this bitch into limbo. Okay, that's I it. Don't, I don't, I don't,